What's good now to watch is, man, I don't like making them a whole lot of them their videos about that their new products, man, because I sound like one of them their, 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 you know, fair criers or whatever, man, one of them their people, man, that did say, buy this, buy it now, as seen on TV or YouTube or whatever, man, because it's like, there is never a shortage of sons of bitches trying to get you to buy shit. So I try to just not uh, other than just setting things up doing things correctly and, and doing that kind of crap and I guess here lately I've been harping on man you know like the spirituality of it man like what are you going to do because the reality is none of the shit that I'm going to show you it could is going to save your life if you don't know how to use it or haven't used it and don't have experience with it. I hate to bust the myth that just because you have something makes it work. Oh my god! I have it! It works! Oh! 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 The shit that I'm showing you is like and the stuff that I have shown you and the things that I have problems with and this, that, or the other are kind of the cutting edge, kind of this, that, or the other. And I show you an alternative perspective than most people because everybody else are a literal bunch of dick suckers. I mean, YouTube are full of people who just want you to think that everything is great and rosy and everything is perfect because it is and I want to get on the manufacturer's good side so they'll send me free shit and that's all good and that's fine for them to do that because they're poor and they're idiots and I'm, I'm cool with that and it's like oh my god I make thousands of dollars from my YouTube channel selling people useless shit Rock out with the cock out. And I'm okay with that because it's a free country and you can do whatever you want. But what I'm going to talk about right now is the, the surefire fury. And I know there are other options out there. I know that someone's going to sit there and tell me that surefire is very expensive for what you get. And I'm not going to sit there and go, Oh my God, Surefire is just, man, every flashlight functions 100% all the time. They never fail and this, that, or the other. Because that's bullshit. They all fail. That's just part of electronics. What I'm trying to get you to understand is Surefire fails less than others. And the Fury that I, that I recommend is, is just a simple, it's called the a pro or some shit like that. What the fuck they call this thing? Anyway, it's LED to whatever. Who gives a fuck? P2X Fury Ultra High Power LED Flashlight Douchebag. Yeah, okay. Anyway, you can buy this thing on Amazon for about a hundred and I don't know, 20 some dollars, whatever the hell you want to. It takes, of course, one, two, three type batteries. And, of course, I paid the most for this pack of batteries I've ever paid for. for. And there she are, one, two, threes, man. I paid a dollar fifty a piece. And literally, I want to beat the hell out of myself for being a douchebag. But other than that, we're good. Um. But this Fury is not the IntelliBeam because I don't like the IntelliBeam because it's IntelliBeam. <laughs> hey man, you got you got to have a receiver. You got to have one of them there light emitters. Then you have to have a receiver. Then you have to have electronics to go through all that shit. What I like are them there two-step processes, man. This one has a high and a low. And that's all it is, man. You got a high and a low. Fuck it. If you don't get it, we got 600 lumens, and you got an hour and 30 minutes for tactical run time. Whatever the fuck that means. How the hell do you define that? You have an hour and 30 minutes of tactical run time. What the fuck does tactical run time mean, and what's your hour and 30 minutes mean? I don't know. You, hey, your mileage may vary. Uh, you've got a low setting, which is your primary, when it, you first come on, you're at 15 lumens. And that's 45 hours. I understand that, 
once you get into this crazy shit up here, 600 lumens, man, I understand that, but one and a half hour tactical runtime, tactical for who, at what distance, when, where, why, you start getting into a bunch of selling bullshit. Now, I don't care what, listen, I don't care what <laughs> manufacturer you're dealing with. They all say, <laughs> it's all a bunch of bullshit. Once you get into there, one hour and 30 minutes tactical runtime. What does tactical runtime mean? How do you define it? What's your parameters? Add this, there, or the other. And I will wear your ass out in this video, but we're not trying to do that. The one thing that I would always recommend anyone with any flashlight, and you can go with the, the Fury Tactical, and you can go with the Fury... The, no, no, don't go with the Fury Tactical. That's bullshit. That's single operational flash of lightums, man. And you don't want that. You want something that's dual because you're going into a survival type situation where you have options. Everybody likes options. And... I like the self-adjusting flashlight if you are going into a situation with white walls and you're talking about the flashback, you know, taking your vision and this, that, or the other, and you're, and you're, you know, and I can, I can talk about this shit all day, but in reality, this two-step LED flashlight, the P2X Fury, man, <laughs> man, 15 and 600 lumens, of tactical runtime, what the fuck does that mean? It's 600 lumens for how long? That's all I want to know. When's it start falling off? Where does it fall off? And where is it at one and a half hours? <laughs> I don't get that. Hey, that's proprietary shit right there, man. Um, but I rant. One thing I would always put is a lanyard on it. Um, Surefire lanyards, like their flashlights and everything else, aren't cheap, uh, but they work. Uh, one thing I do like about this Fury is the um, the button is not recessed. You have a uh, you got that there protect ring, man, but it ain't recessed. We go, we go put it on, baby. Oh, sorry. Here's another rant. Okay, fuckheads. Literally. We're building the body of the flashlight with that there in denim type thingam right there, man. Just like, you know, we know what that's for because we are used to operating in that there tactical type situations, man. But here's the situation. That one lines up right there, but there ain't nothing on the fucking tail cap. That kind of pisses me off. <laughs> Because, you know, people that know what those things are use them and they ain't on this there flash them, light them. And what that's for is, you turn that motherfucker, and of course, you turn it all the way on. This one does not come on. You hit the button, you got low, and then you got, oh my god, it's so fucking bright. But... What that, that little that there crevasse man is for, and normally you'd have a matching one on here, you could twist it one total revolution, match them up, and it will not come on. Hey, 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 hell, man. It ain't on the, that there, that there machine em, type em, situation em, device em is not on the tail cap. That kind of pisses me off. I'm just kind of angry about that. If you can't. Get my anger if you don't understand what that fucking anger feels like. Well, then fuck you. Literally. Uh, but, that's one thing. Another thing is, and I'm not going to wrench it because I just... I'm not, it's not going to. It just ain't coming off, man. And that's cool with that there Japanese type or Chinese type of flash and light -ums. But I'm not real hep up on the fact that my Surefire, I cannot fully disassemble. Why that bothers me, why that's in my head, I don't know. Uh, I'm just fucked up that way. I just like things being simple and 
able to take apart and this there and the other and I was like man it ain't being press fitted all man you know there's probably some threads and they locked tight man <laughs> and then you know whoa I don't know how they made it but anyway um uh, fuck I really don't know what to say other than it's a really good flashlight there's a few minor issues that I really don't like that I've just really got ingrained in my head from using Surefire for like decades. And uh, I feel like such a whore buying these for like a buck uh, fifty a piece uh, because I feel like I am I don't know, white trash. I don't know. It's, it's, just, it's just an issue with me. And uh, and this is the, the Surefire Fury good bad and different do I trust with my life yeah yeah I'd really do especially once you add a lanyard and you know you do it upright and this that, or the other and I'm like crap and you get a little <laughs> get a little surefire logo ain't that cute what a bunch of douchebags anyway um, it, but you know we use these things these are tools they're not <laughs> You ain't collecting them, motherfucker. You, if you are, you you collecting the wrong thing, bitch. Uh, but for the price, you know, they rock. And uh, they're very reliable. They, they'll keep your ass alive in uh, various and sundry situations. And when you need 600, which you shouldn't need it very often, I got a little little critter man wanting to, he wants to commune with, with whatever the fuck that is. I'm gonna kill it. Kill it, boy, kill it! Um, I don't know. It's a good product, built by a good company. It's got a few little things I don't like. Uh, but that's just because I cut my teeth on this shit, boy. Uh, by cutting my teeth, I mean that their tactical type of flash them light them back when it only had like 60 lumens. And we used to go, oh my god, it's the best flashlight in the world, man. Run for one hour, baby. Woo! Big lumens, one hour, yeah, boy. But anyway, <laughs> to, to look back on that, that's so humorous. It really is. Anyway, this is Guns, Knives, and Watches, and this is the uh, Fury from Surefire. And this is the one I would get. I don't like the IntelliBeam. I don't like the tactical. I don't like that bullshit. If you want to get the one with the fucking. And there's and there serrations on the front, man. They're, they're self defense on top of them, light them, man. That's great, but if somebody gets that close to you, motherfucker, you probably should have pulled a gun by then. Yeah, you might have fucked up, bitch. I'm going for DNA, man. We go, we go keep some DNA when that guy just fucks me up and gets away, man. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Peace out. Gun eyes and watching this surefire fury, man.